Genevieve Elverum, also known as Genevieve Castry, was a Canadian cartoonist, illustrator, and musician from Quebec. An early admirer of comics, she began creating them at a young age. Loa de Cravon published her first book, Les Frappe, in 2000. By 2004 she had released three more books, Die Fabric, Relatech Relatech Nicolore, and Pamplemacy. The latter is considered her artistic breakthrough. Her 2012 book Susceptible gave her international success and was followed by a book of poems in French entitled Maman Sauvage in 2015. Her next two works A Bubble and Maman Opera were both released posthumously. She also recorded a total of eight albums under the name Wolf and Opon. In 2003, Castry met musician Phil Elverum, and the two married the following year. In 2015, she gave birth to their first child. That same year, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She succumbed to the disease in 2016. Elverum later recorded a series of albums centered around her life and death. Loretteville, Quebec, where Castry was born Genevieve Gosselin was born in Loretteville, Quebec, in 1981. She grew up reading Tintin comics from an early age, so much so that she eventually entered, studied for, and won a Tintin competition. From an early age, she was drawing comics influenced by artists she loved, including Hergé, René French, Chester Brown, Julie Doucet, and Argentinian artist Kino. Doucet in particular had a significant influence on Castry, influencing her character design and lettering style. When Gosselin was five, her father left her and her mother. At age 15, Gosselin traveled around Canada and reunited with her absentee father. Although their relationship was strained, Gosselin's father did build her a log cabin to live in. In her teens, Gosselin, without formal training, began her cartooning career, publishing mini-comics and adopting the name Genevieve Castry. Gosselin had a troubled relationship with her mother, experiencing both a deep connection and feelings of alienation and belittlement. Her relationship with her father was less contentious but also less intimate. Castry performing under the name Opon in 2012 and 2000, Montreal publisher Loa de Cravon published her first book, Les Frappe, followed by Die Fabric that same year and Relatech Relatech Nicolore in 2001. But it was Pamplemacy in 2004 that served as her artistic breakthrough. The release marked her first major movement to integrate her music and visual art into one cohesive practice. In 2012, Castry released Susceptible, a graphic novel that chronicles her childhood growing up in Quebec through the character of Goglu, her childhood nickname. It was released to critical acclaim and saw her achieve international success, as well as helping her feel unburdened by her memories of her mother. In 2015, Maman Sauvage, a book of poems in French detailing Castry's feelings as a mother, was published by Loa de Cravon under the name Genevieve Elverum. Following her death, Castry was included in the Best American Comics 2016, edited by Ross Chast. In 2017, her final book, A Bubble, was posthumously published by Drawn and Quarterly, having been completed by Portland artist Anders Nielsen and Elverum. They were initially wary about finishing it but concluded that it would be better for the book to be in a state of easy readability rather than burden it with the awkward unfinished look. Too cloaked in its context to be functional as a standalone thing, Castry left instructions for its creation after her death. According to Elverum, she worked on it until her literal final days? The book was created for her daughter as a gift, although she did intend for it to be published. It centers around their relationship and Castry's struggle with cancer, which she compares to living in a bubble. It features sparse text and is instead primarily told via an image per page. It concludes with an afterword by Elverum. Elverum noted that its creation was Castry's way of coping. A book of poems entitled Maman Opera Vosé was released in 2018. It consists of 44 poems written in French and English. It deals with her feelings surrounding her giving birth in 2015, and being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer the same year. Alvarum has said that he is putting together a book of poems by her as well as a monograph of her illustrations. Hotel 2 Tango, the Montreal studio where Castry recorded the Opon album Course as a self-taught musician, Castry's first release was an accompanying LP to her 2004 book Pamplemacy. Recorded and mixed by Thomas Shields and Matt Skillings of the band Run Chico Run. The two artists provided many of the instruments and backing tracks to the album, as well as musical training and financing for the recording. The album was recorded and mixed in Victoria, British Columbia. It is lo-fi in nature, with Castry singing in French over childlike instruments, such as a keyboard and recorder. Under the name Wolf, 
Castri released the 2006 EP Gri via Elverum's label PW Elverum & Son, Ltd. Gri saw her expand on her already established lo-fi sound. Her final release under the Wolf name came in 2007 as Tout Sol Don's La Forêt en Plongeur, Avez-vous Per? The album was recorded in Olympia, Washington, via K Records, with Elverum once again involved. In 2009, Castri established her own label and began releasing music under the name Opon. In 2010, she released an LP, Courses, recorded at Hotel 2 Tango, Montreal, with Thierry Amar, and in 2015 released Fluve, recorded with Alvarum and featuring Nicholas Kurgovic and Lori Goldston. Castri also made appearances on recordings by Mount Erie, Thanksgiving, Carl Blau, D Plus and Aiden Baker. She and Alvarum helped create the What the Heck Fest. She released a total of eight albums under both names. Castri's literary work often dealt with topics such as loyalty, her relationship with her parents and childhood abuse. They were typically of a discreet nature, and often eschewed typical comics paneling, alongside using negative space and open-page layouts, among other techniques. Her work featured a meticulous folk art style that made heavy use of vibrant color. Her characters were often expressive, being described as fragile and broken, and were drawn with wiggly arms and bending legs. Themes such as sorrow and elation were present throughout her work in a symbiotic manner. Castri was married to musician Phil Elverum, who has released music as the Microphones and Mount Erie. They met in 2003 and married in 2004. They originally intended to move to Canada but after searching for residency decided to remain in the United States, in the town of Anacortes, Washington, where Elverum grew up. Castri was also close friends with musician Lori Goldston and poet Joanne Kiger. French was Castri's primary language. Castri was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2015, shortly after the birth of her and Elverum's only child. In June 2016, a GoFundMe account was set up by Elverum to assist with their finances. She died on July 9, 2016, at the age of 35. Her husband soon posted an update, she died at home with me and her parents holding her, hopefully having reached some last-minute peace. Following her death, Phil Elverum released three albums under his Mount Erie project, A Crow Looked at Me, now only in Lost Wisdom PT. 2 which chronicle Castri's life and mourn her early death. Catherine Paul's debut album Mother of My Children was inspired by Castri's death, whom Paul described as her mentor. Clyde Peterson was inspired by Castri's death to release an album he had recorded while briefly house-sitting for Castri and Elverum. Many other artists paid tribute to her. Anders Nielsen called her one of my favorite people in the world and one of my favorite artists. Former publisher Chris Oliveros expressed gratitude and pride at having worked with her and published her works. All titles published as Genevieve Castri except where indicated, featured in. Thanks for watching.